So I had this whole thing on how I was going to follow other people's art tips. But as I realized when I was checking out my recording, that's not going too well. Here's why. See the idea that you should start with general shapes and then add details that is why I can't do this. So instead of following art tips like I spent this whole thing on, I'm going to go in depth on how to create your own style. Since that was part of the other one. And it's also going to have other things. So, a lot of artists... A lot of artists start up like this, they're like, wow, I just started art, I'm doing so good right now. And then the internet appears, a wild internet. The artist goes over, curious as ever, they pick up the wild internet and start going through it. And what do they see? Tons and tons and tons of amazing art in all shapes and sizes. Don't you see? Now with all this good art, the artist thinks to themselves real hard. Their new art, they're not doing too good, considerably, and if they're comparing themselves to the When the artist compares their art to the other art that's more defined, they found their style, everything looks good, and gorgeous, and everything's good, you know? When you compare those, it feels like a one star to a 100 star, don't you think? So the artist thinks hard about that, don't they? And the artist realizes, and then they start crying. Because, whoa, oh, woe is me, my art isn't like theirs. Defined because they've had a lot of practice and time into it. And that's always the problem. That's how people quit art. Because they see other artists like this that are like accomplished and everything. Looks gorgeous. Refined. Now, you know what we do? You just swoop in and you just shush them. And you see their stupid phone? You grab the phone. Oops, far away. Literally went right above it. You grab the phone and you just take it away. And you just shush them again. The so autumn maze is here to try to help and probably fail. Now, um, the word, or the advice that artists give because they don't know how to give advice. And I'm not saying I know any better, but I'm trying, okay? And it's not that they're bad for giving it because it's what they had to go through and other people don't realize you don't become God overnight. Everything takes time, like a profession, violin, takes years, you start around like you're five or something to become good, don't ya? Or sewing, sewing doesn't come off the bat, nothing does, does it? Closest thing is cleaning, I suppose, maybe, I don't know. But, one thing I can try to help with is this. Now, artists aren't vague, uh, aren't specific on, they're very vague, they aren't specific on what they need to practice on. So everyone's like, oh, I hate just being told that it's practice. And what they don't understand is that the artist doesn't understand how to pull it, uh, put the words together. And they understood that they had to practice themselves on different topics and things. Now, what you should start with to me, you start with trying different styles, and as you go from one style to the other, you will slowly be able to put the styles together, or certain parts that you like from the style, into one thing. That is, if you do this, I recommend it, because it is how a lot of artists can make their own style. 
and it's an easy thing to practice on. If you practice different styles, like realism, chibi, or anime, whatever, you can figure out what style is for you. That's how I figured mine out. I started with chibi, and then I realized, wow, I don't want to do chibi. I'm going to try realism, and my fingers are going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you put those styles together, excuse one, this is how I interpreted it. And here we have her. I put these three styles in it. So I put... One second. I put the proportions, or a good por part of the portions, into this. Her jaw, her head, her body, and I put her large, unrealistic hair into it as well. You see? And I put her big eyes and a mix of hers in as well, as you can see. And so we were able to mix the styles and be able to see that we mixed the styles. See, the mouth became not so that. You don't have things like that for the mouth now. And we were able to mix the styles. And another thing you should practice on as well, colors. Colors are very annoying. So we're going to start with this red. What do you think is the best way to shade the red? Now, an easy way to shade something is with the opposite color of it. So let me just find a neat little brush and put some alpha lock on. We do that. I got a case and now it's so it's better. Now I only have to wash my case. Now something that I learned by just reading it is the opposite color of something can be used to color it. Now don't you think that's cool? You can use that cute pastel blue. Or, I suppose, pastel. As the light. Or you could use it as the dark. I suppose you do that. That. Pretty neat, isn't it? Now, let's be honest. I chose a bad color, but... So, we're going to do a nice yellow. Um, let's just put the cute yellow down. We'll turn it. Pick it up. We'll turn it back. Now, let's alpha lock it. And go back to brush. Now, it's not the same brush. I'm practicing different brushes. As you can see, the blue complements the yellow and can make the yellow stand out more. And it also adds a bit of a green tinge to it. Just a bit. Not like... The, uh, I'm not saying it's like a neon green, but it adds a bit of a green tinge to it. And that tinge compliments it. Yes. Now isn't that cool? So I can never Complimented this lovely color and now it looks good. Now, things reflect. Light reflects. Let's show you. Let's do this. We're gonna do one of those typical white to gray balls. Now let's put that gray in there. Lighter gray, darker gray. Now, the thing is, the light reflects. So there is not going to be a dark area right there, or just a full dark. It's going to be kind of a ballish shape of a dark, and then ain't going to be a full light. 
You see that? And I think that also helps. Uh, you can make this ball red. Now, I didn't do this the right way. I'm good. Now, I made this ball red by... Now, I made it look like this by alpha locking this layer since it's full colors turning it into just a plain red by also duplicating it turning this one into multiply so it looks like that and turning it into add as well so it looks like this but i also erased part of it so it's not all around you see if i did them all around added look like this but i put erased around here so it doesn't and it looks nice which that could look better now after i blended it it looks much better doesn't it much more like a not so bingling bingling but what you should practice mostly is colors so it looks good how how colors can complement a different color like blue can complement red or yellow can be complemented by purple or blue or things like that and practice styles mix styles do your thing this is on a mix signing off Love you guys.